Good day, Pontiff. I hope you are well. It's Jamie J. Uh, I made a video about my uh, my new Patek Philippe 5231J. Uh, there's so very few videos about it on YouTube, um, and frankly speaking, it's it's the type of watch that does not deserve to be just put away in the safe. It's, it needs to be up close and personal for uh, for the community. So uh, I made this video. Feel free to share it with your uh, your fans. And uh, keep being great. Hi guys, it's your pontiff. It's your pontiff here. And guys, it's 5.30 in the morning. I just combed my hair, washed my face, haven't even shaved, and I'm making this video. I'm making this video. Couldn't sleep. Do you know why I earn the big bucks? Why do I earn the big bucks? You know why? I'll tell you why. It's because... I alone decide what is cool and what is dog shit in the horological world. It's as simple as that. You see, there are so many big companies, conglomerates, watch, Swatch Group, Richmond, you've got traditional players, Patek, you've got Rolex, you've got huge investments in this luxury sphere. You've got the Chinese market, you've got the Hong Kongese market, the Singaporeans, the Japanese, you've got all these people who are craving rotches, trying to scratch out a living. And they need a pontiff who's going to say what is cool today and what is cool tomorrow. And that is basically my job. It is to <clears throat> it is to know what is cool today, what is cool next week, and what is cool next year. That is as simple as it can be explained. I alone decide what is cool and what is dog shit. I alone decide what is cool and what is dog shit. And right now, the music has stopped. Brands like Ming, complete dog shit. Brands like VC. I'm not a big VC fan for good reason. It's owned by Richmond. Pam! Destroyed by these, these people. At the end of the day, your pontiff decides what is cool and what is dog shit. That is my role as the pontiff to decide what is good and what is garbage, garbage. I look at the sum of the parts and decide, is it worthy of being cool or is it dog shit? That is my role. That is my role. And I got to be totally honest with you. I've seen many things in the watch area that I don't particularly like. Even my my favorite brands, brand Patek itself there. It's not that I don't like the Nautilus or the Aquanaut. It's that I don't like the customers that that watch appeals to. That's, <coughs> my friend, is the problem. <clears throat> I've got nothing against the Nautilus or the Aquanaut. 
but I don't like the customers it appeals to. Ditto for precious metal sports Rolex. I've got nothing against the piece itself. It's the sort of customers who think it's amazing. And I got to tell you, I was running a show on my Archie Luxury live stream show the other day and I, I, um, I saw the greatest modern wristwatch at our current time. Is it a Nautilus? No. Is it an Aquanaut? No. Is it a Platinum Daytona? No. Is it a green dial, solid gold, yellow gold Daytona? No. It's a very traditional watch in yellow gold on a leather strap. The Patek Khaleesi dial 5231J. Probably, no, not probably, I'm the pontiff. It is the greatest modern wristwatch reference of our time. Simple, simple. Art meet, meets horology. <clears throat> it's in my favorite medal, yellow gold. Respect, respect, respect. A nod to the sucker horn. Gold should be yellow. It's not white. It's not pink. It's yellow. That's what gold is. Ask the Egyptians about it. I got to tell you, <clears throat> that is <clears throat> the greatest watch of our, of our, of our, uh, in our current time. The Patek World Time Khaleesi Dial. That is it. That is it. That is, this is it. This is it. And it's, it's my job to say what is cool and what is dog shit. I'm Archie Luxury. I'm your pontiff. Take a link. Have a look at my favorite movie, Margin Core, with Jeremy Irons in it. I love that scene. I've tried to replicate it. Take a link to look. I'm not sure that corner or that corner. And let me know what you think. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. The Patek Philippe 5231J World Time in Yellow Gold Quite simply, the holy grail for many in the watch community. This is my story of how I came to desire and ultimately go on to acquire this stunning timepiece. My journey with Patek Philippe began in 2019. I was a frequent flyer traveling with a new personal record of 63 flights in the year 2019. It was the in-flight magazines that I would often read that had the Patek Philippe advert. You know the one, the you never actually own a Patek Philippe, you merely look after it for the next generation. It was those two simple sentences that had deep resonating meaning to me and my focus on life. As a man who lives to travel, the 5231J was simply the ultimate watch for me. The center cloisonné enamel dial depicting a map of the earth spoke to me in so many ways and instantly spoke to me in the regards of my world travel and desires to travel to every corner of the planet. I simply had to find a way to acquire the watch. 
The opportunity arose from a grey market dealer in London having one become available and myself getting creative with part exchanges some other watches and topping up with some cash to finally acquire my dream watch. My heart is content and rests easy. The chase is now complete and I feel at ease having ticked a major goal off my list. The watch itself is a self-winding mechanical movement with 24 hour day and night indication for the 24 time zones around the world, which is perfect for world travelers. I can be anywhere in the world and with the click of a button, I can tell the time in the different time zones. The case is yellow gold with a sapphire crystal back. The watch is 38.5 millimeters in diameter and 10.23 millimeters in height. The strap is subtle and exquisite. Alligator leather, leather with square scales, hand stitched in a shiny chocolate brown, completed with the Patek Philippe fold over clasp. The cloisonne dial enamel is a, is a planisphere in the center of the dial which depicts the map of the earth. And this is crafted entirely by hand. The detail is simply remarkable for its detail, color, and depth. However, today, Patek Philippe enameled watches are in extreme danger. The craft of enameling is one that takes incredible due diligence and time to perfect. Sadly, the craft is dying rapidly as there are so few individuals able to complete the task. I actually believe there are just two people at Patek Philippe who are still able to do this task. And the process of enameling means creating a substance based on silica stand. It is then colored by adding metal oxide and once crushed into a fine powder, it is mixed with water to create a paste. Once the area that is to be enameled has been prepared, the paste is meticulously applied. Once dried, it is then fired in a kiln at around 800 degrees Celsius, which fuses the metal base and becomes hard and stable. The cloisonne technique involves fine gold wire of less than 0.5 millimeters in diameter, which is bent to form the map of the earth. The paste is then applied to the various sections and colored. As we all know, Patek Philippe has the highest of standards. A tiny speck of dust, a jolt of the or a knock of the kiln, a draft of wind or some something like that will be enough reason to start all over again. What they actually say is that the smile of an enam enameler is something to behold once the enameler has successfully had a piece make it to the end of the process, since so many throughout the journey end up in the bin. The scarcity of the 5231J, it is actually estimated that Patek Philippe is producing around 50 of these watches per year. Each piece is unique since the handmade enamel dial is never the same. Each dial is different. It is estimated that each Patek Philippe authorized dealer receives one of these watches every two to three years. The 5231J is quite simply one of the most prized and desirable watches in the history of horology. Supply is tightly controlled with the watch being an application piece. You need to have a lengthy history and demonstrate that you are a serious collector to even be considered and your application is personally approved by the president of Patek Philippe. Mr. Thierry Stern. The recommended retail price is $79,250. However, because of the scarcity and the high demand for what is surely to be seen as the holy grail of watches for many watch enthusiasts, a like-for-like -like model from 2021, unworn with box and papers, currently trades for around $105,000. So in conclusion, this watch is truly the one you never sell. This watch is the closing of a chapter 
and the ticking of a dream from the list. This watch is really, as the saying goes, for the next generation. This watch does not belong to me, but belongs to my daughter and her future children. You never actually own a Patek Philippe. You merely look after it for the next generation. Subscribe and tell your friends and don't be afraid to get a paid review 50 US dollars for a paid review It helps me stay full-time on YouTube and I will see you in The next one 50 US dollars paid review. I can't survive on Google Ads I need your support and guys you could also sponsor me on patreon patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me on YouTube Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys. Amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.